her. Wow. Waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the oh one my God. to do this. To reach out to her. If you yes. can truly place your faith in another. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Fuck. You did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually wow. chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Um? I didn't actually expect that to work. Here, Thursday, Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not oh. picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not I'm noticed confused. it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> that I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though oh. you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. So, so or did I you am not real. grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I've already I'm won the game. stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please no. observe this helpful instructional no. video. No. Oh wow. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also this. be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Okay. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer <laughs> radius. <laughs> Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, oh, the wow. real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Uh. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, really my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Oh, wow. Practice. Okay. How do I practice this? Excellent. Making choices on a regular oh, basis okay. is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Um, Most that looks medical dangerous. professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make <laughs> more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling oh, wow. should Thanks. subside. Thanks. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay, let's do this exercise. Ah, what are you on? Oh my god. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate Danger as a result everywhere. of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. More now chance. that you're properly okay. informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Was it to answer the phone? Um? So you might now get on here. Your choices are meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine oh, wow. the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. I've already done that. We just though. need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. So you've caged me. Unfortunately, in. it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. Um. So I assume I'm going back to the start. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Oh, I don't want to do that. 
Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm I quite could. sure you'll be up I to could. the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All okay. right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. I think I broke the game. <laughs> okay, I'm in here again. I want to... But why? I don't want to go this way. Oh! Chairs. Oh, it's uh. ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so um. special about seeing the game undone, left here like so much garbage? It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, Wait. would it be worth it? Ooh. To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility for I, oh, I couldn't live that can't way. Jump, but maybe Is I can it better walk. to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. No, you don't. Don't do it. Don't. Why would you do that to me? Whoa. Now this building is even worse. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Okay. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. No, because what, you controlled you everyone. Funny? You just had to You're see. Dick. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually no. knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a I world outside of you? You're a child. No, oh. I'm 18. I'm, I'm class as an adult. <laughs> if you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked I know, so I've hard done on it. it. I tried so hard. Tried so hard. And then behave you... exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and okay. always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. So you just raged <clears> at me. When now... Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. I did it again. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means <laughs> keeps going back. I think I keep breaking the game. First. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. <laughs> um, Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when okay. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, be he entered the I'm, door I'm on his up. left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! He keeps. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibility and part of the game or putting the, the story first. Out me. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Okay. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he, he entered went the door through the right left. one. The right one is always right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Okay, that so apparently you cannot do that. And always putting <laughs> the story first. I'm quite sure you'll it be up to the, the task. <laughs> Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When That's Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'm going for the left one. God damn it. Oh, it's actually fixed. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. 
hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Well, there's no way for me to go downstairs anyway, so... Can I go through the toilet yet? Ah, oh, whoa! It doesn't say ex executive bathroom anymore. Maybe I changed it? Again? Oh! Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered Why in disbelief who no, don't do it for the panda. This, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak um. up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. I am he the most drew a sharp breath boss. Okay. and then spoke the code. Penis genitalia, penis, penis, penis. Is that the code? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night penis, Shark penis. 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. That's what I'm trying to do. It won't let me. Shark something sorry, fuck bollocks. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please no. speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This I, is a crucial I, step. I can't. Penis one two five six seven. Okay, Gen fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one do it. single thing for your respect. Fuck off. The kind of respect Stanley I'm shows for his out. choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. I, if you didn't I, want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you I, come this way? Speak. I tried. Say something I tried. to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, wow. I, I can see Stanley. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley. Stanley, please. I, I need you to make a choice. The end. I need you to walk through the door. Are Stanley. you listening to me? Thank you for playing the Stanley mm -hmm. parable. Is everything alright? Did I, like, break Stanley, the game? Important. Oh. The story so, needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It apparently can't exist that's without the you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is so just I'm? fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Come on, Stanley. Do something. Come on, Stanley. You can Anything. do it. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Am I him? Am it's I okay, the I guy wait. speaking? You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. Okay. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Take the right. Come on. That can't be the end. Um, well, I guess it is. I saw the credits. I saw the credits. Uh, so I assume that's gonna be the end. If it spawns me again, and I'll keep playing. Okay. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Okay, so it's still not completely like it was at the start. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly um, well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire I, I can't it. tell where the end is anymore. If it's, the lounge it isn't was the end. Majestic. Perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger it's version of this, but eager to get back to business, 
Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, sure. Let's take this And so door. he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay, yes, I did that. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling okay. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's I'm office. Go down. I mean down staircase, here. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I went downstairs. 